Welcome back guys, we are Christopher and Isabel, true extraordinary souls on an exhilarating quest to truly experience life in all its glory. Together we have embarked on a captivating journey venturing into the depths of the world's abandoned places. With our trusty self-converted Sprinter Van as home, we have unlocked the gates to boundless exploration. This nomadic lifestyle grants us to unparalleled the freedom to traverse the globe and live life to the fullest. So hit that subscribe button and come along for the ride. In the early 20th century, a vision of elegance and grandeur took shape in the rolling hills of Salerno. Sir Frederick Hashting, a wealthy aristocrat with a passion for beauty, commissioned a construction of a magnificent summer residence. This was the birth of Villa Verona, a testament of architectural elegance and refined taste. Designed in the opulent Renaissance style, the villa boasted ordinary details and intricate craftsmanship. Its C-shaped plan embraced the surrounding landscape, while three avant cross projected from the main facade signaling the splendor that lay within. The central avant crops housed a lavish entrance and a sweeping staircase, leading guests into the realm of opulence. As the villa took shape, each room became a work of art, reflecting the aristocratic lifestyle of its inhabitants. Villa Verona stood proudly in its panoramic position, its vantage point offering mesmerizing 360 degrees views of the coast. The villa became a haven of tranquility, a sanctuary where the Hashing family could escape the summer heat and revel in the natural beauty that surrounded them. But as time passed, the Hashing bloodline neared its end. In 1995, after the passing of the last descendant, Lady Amelia Hashing, the villa fate became uncertain. Ownership changed hands multiple times, as once the bustling halls gradually fell into silence, the villa, once a symbol of aristocratic splendor, faced a period of neglect and abandonment. The once pristine gardens turned into an overgrown wilderness, and the once gleaming walls succumbed to the effects of time. Villa Verona, once a vibrant testament of elegance and refinement, now stands as a haunting reminder of its former glory. I think this way. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, walking up is maybe a little bit easier than driving up. And we've got legs, so um, we're gonna use them. <laughs> I think we just go over here. I think you're right. <laughs> of course. Just go because there's a dog, a man. We are finally on the property and the house is there. That's the house. Yeah, the villa. Arthur is gone for a long time I think because the plants here are a little bit too big. Look at this. What a huge villa. Whoa. No windows in, but let's see inside. I think they had a great view over the city. Wow. Okay. We're still trying to find a way in. Everything is wide open. There's no window or no door in it. Nothing. Oh, 
Jesus Christ. Um, look. This is worth a shot. Definitely. I like the staircase and uh, the metal fence of it. That was the original floor, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, they started renovation once, but um, it just no starts. Idea why they stopped. Like always, money issues. Beautiful big rooms. The views are uh, nice. Not bad. <laughs> Building is big. It's really, it's really, really big. Big. Oh, yeah, big yeah. But they closed the windows over there. Yeah. There was once glass in lead. Oh. Stained glass? Ah yeah, it was once stained glass. That's bricked up. It was big. What's behind? Oh, they just. This is where we built Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Why? Why you? Huh? That's why you want to close that. They were really nice. Stained glass windows and. Maybe uh, because it's too cold? Oh, yeah. Too many windows? Yeah, but it's all the rest of them. I don't think it makes sense because look at this. The window port is gigantic. Mm. It was a staircase also. Oh, ooh. This one is gone. I think the plan was to build an elevator over here. Maybe? I don't see another reason why you will close. I don't see another reason why you should remove the staircase. Doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> now we're on the other side. <laughs> we have the other view. The garden, really. Look. It's all your rocks. Ooh. <laughs> you know what would be real cool? If they make in that rock just a swimming pool. <laughs> no? <laughs> That's cool, but I think something very expensive to do. Uh, why how you think this is this is built? On the rock? It's, it's on top of the hill. It's just the same. So cool. Did you found? Ooh. That's a basement. <laughs> the basement is a rock. <gasps> okay, we have to go down. We have to go to the basement. That's weird. Basement. <laughs> That's crazy, really. <laughs> Never saw that. But, but actually, from up here, it's not a bad shot if you zoom in a bit. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. It's 
very nice. Break anything. No, 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 but I know you. It's actually quite big. This is a foundation of the house. Yeah. So weird. Never saw it. Pretty cool. That's cool. This is fun. Look like me. Start shooting this place. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, now we go back to the van because I want to eat something decent. We only had cookies this morning. It was a bit of a lazy morning, but um, this place was really cool. I'm glad we've been here. So we have a nice, we got a few nice shots, so um, we're happy. And I liked the rock. <laughs> the rock was the rock. really cool. <laughs> found a place somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I'm not sure it will work out, but yeah, we will see. <laughs> well, if you don't try, you never know. <laughs> but sometimes um, we try too much. This? What's that? I don't know, a trash bag. I don't know. Oh, oh no! Yeah, I think we need to find a way to uh, turn the van here. Will it be okay with the level? The difference in level? Getting rigorous. Slowly, slowly. Yeah, it's really, really, it's 
close to the ground. Ah, stop, 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 stop. This is so bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. driving. That's also good. <laughs> oh, what an idea. Sorry. No, I think. I think we have to eat something now. Yeah. I'm very hungry. Mind the only one at once. Everything between the breath, not sticking out. <laughs> You're the only one. I don't care. Oh. Mm. Four o'clock, but it's the best breakfast. Like four that I ever had. Think we stay here for the night? Yeah, we stay <laughs> here for the night. <laughs> I found another spot. No, not for today. It's enough for today. <laughs> oh no. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. What's up there? <laughs> the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> I stay here. <laughs>